Hey guys, what's going on? Nate Feldman, Feldman's Lawn and Landscape. Super busy morning already. Got the guys loaded up with some mulch. They're out on a uh, larger residential property right now taking care of an install. And uh, now I'm here at the shop and you'll probably notice all of the mowers are out of one of our lawn care trailers. Um, and this is a super exciting video. I'm headed out to Hamburg where our lawnmower dealership is. Shout out to HR Dills and I am taking delivery of a bunch of exciting new products today and I will tell you who that is from in just a little bit but guys stick around for the rest of this video I think you're going to be really excited it's going to be a great season and I will explain who the product is from how long do we get to keep it what's the situation you get to meet um, one of our brand reps for this company out at the lawnmower dealership and uh, so just stick around super excited for this video all right guys I'll see you there What's going on guys? We're at the lawnmower dealer, HR Dills, out here in Hamburg, and I'm here with my friend Derek with Crest Products. How you doing? Oh, doing fantastic. <laughs> Derek, thanks for being yeah, here today. Of course, of course. Super, super excited about this. So Derek, just uh, what are we getting today? And uh, I'll, I'll turn it on over to you. So uh, lovely uh, Buffalo weather here. It's raining, but we're, we're starting off a good day here. We uh, Gonna hook Nate up here with our uh, um, our Crest trial program. Uh, it's something that uh, I believe we uh, we carry the the tip of the spear when it comes to battery uh, OPE. So obviously it's uh, it's changing the uh, the industry. Um, you know we're we're trying to convert guys from gas to battery, and how do we do that? Well, let's get the tools in the guys' hands. So that's what we're doing today. So what we're doing is uh, we we work with Nate. Uh, we talked a little bit on, on what equipment you'd like to see. Obviously, we, uh, we talked briefly on what, what we are and, and what we do. Um, biggest thing is our battery platform. Uh, that's where we're going to start and really prove our, 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 our equipment. So with Crest, um, it's solely a battery OPE company. And what makes us different is we give gas-like power through battery equipment. So that's our, our, our biggest thing is no compromise. Um, as for instance, this is our four amp hour battery. Um, out of this, we're given a six year warranty, commercial warranty, which is pretty much unheard of. That's crazy. It is, it is awesome. So um, we back this up with all the technology and power output, um, like I said, to give you no compromise. Um, as you can run this through all of your, your handheld uh, tools. So this is a 60 volt battery. Um, with that, we have a 4 amp hour and an 11 amp hour to get you through um, a battery backpack blower. Um, we've got a battery backpack harness with a tether. Um, nice part is we can take we can take an 11 amp hour battery, put it on our harness. It's going to slide through, sit down, give us power out of our tether, which will be able to take the, the weight out of the tool. And then uh, still give us power output. So, so what can we hook up to that uh, that backpack tether right there? So we can hook up a nice KC100 commercial screen trimmer. Um, Very nice. So lightweight, shaft driven, um, motor sits up back. It's got the same exact feel as you would with a with a with a gas uh, commercial screen trimmer, nice. and then the same output, but no noise, no fumes, very limited vibration. So we're cutting grass at 1 a.m. is what you're saying. Yeah, and you ain't waking anybody up. All right. So, yeah, it's perfect. That's so, awesome. So you said the motor was up well, there. It's not down here in the head. Correct. And we can, and I think you said before that we could swap out if we really like the Echo uh, Speed Feed heads or the steel version. We could switch that out. But you guys have something very similar on here. Yes, it's, it's a very similar head to what most guys are used to right now. Awesome. Uh, yeah, shaft driven. You got your reverse spine thread. Um, speed feed heads, quick, easy to uh, to reload line. Um, you can take your regular 095 line, um, and then obviously it's a pump and run. So it's it's very similar to what what the industry is used to right now. Awesome. Biggest perk though is when you think battery, it's either on or off, which it is in cases. But with our equipment, we give a variable trigger, so you still have that gas like um, feel when you're running power out of this. Uh, but the cool part is, as I can demonstrate, through all of our commercial equipment, we have an LCD screen that shows you we got power output of our battery, and nice. then we can do our output 
through our through our trigger. And how so, long how long would something like that last on just one of those smaller batteries? Well, that's the thing. That's the biggest question everybody wants to know, right? Yep. So it's all about trigger control. We give you the power output of these uh, of our our commercial equipment, just like your gas. Right. But you need to learn how to conserve it because I'll get back to the battery charger point. But sure, you need to um, need. You got instant power, yep. so when you're walking between workloads or bouncing between different places, you don't have to run your trigger to keep that motor hot right. and keep it going throughout the day. Right, so, so no pulsating just to keep the engine yep. moving. There you go. Great. So it's, 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 it is an on or off situation when you're during your workload. Yep. And then with our, our like our three speed setting, mm -hmm. um, you know, we have, we have between like 30, 39 or 4200 RPM all the way up just shy of 6000 RPM. So okay. You have good workload through these tools. So That's awesome. But I'll re I'll get back to uh, you know power. Yep. So we, we can run the power, but what about the recharge time? Yeah. What about getting back out? So we like I said, no compromise. What we're doing is through our battery technology, we can charge on site through what we call a cyber tank. It's just, considered a cyber system. So that's that beautiful generator this looking thing behind old, you. This big old puppy right here <laughs> can charge this battery between 14 down to eight minutes based on, on how fast you need it back. And wow. that's that's from zero percent dead. Right off I'll kill it with that string trimmer, take this puppy off, slider in my cyber tank, let it recognize the battery, and boom, it's off charge. Obviously the battery's full right now. But, but you said it would take anywhere from how long to so charge So a standard time? charge is 14 minutes, or okay. I can flash charge it off of port one in eight minutes. Eight minutes. Eight minutes. And how long does that battery last in like a weed whacker if you're, you know, just typical properties on and off the trigger a bit? We've, we've in a general consensus with guys using the stuff in the field, and I've seen between 35, 45, and 50 minutes based on how, what, what they're cutting with and uh, how they're utilizing that trigger. So you're saying that like, you you're done with a couple houses in a neighborhood. Yep. You're headed to another neighborhood. You just pop that thing on the charger, and by the time you get there, that yep. it's almost or totally completely charged. Awesome. Totally. Yep. That's, That's awesome. And, and it doesn't hurt anything um, between your job sites. You put your batteries back on your charger. Yep. You work your next load. You're back up to 100. percent So the biggest thing is our our cyber tank has a um, it's basically got a power bank below. Yep. Which is going to utilize power to charge your batteries throughout the day. Yep. And then when you're back at your base location, the cyber tank has a 110 plug, mm -hmm. 15 amp draw. Yep. Power out of your trailer, plug her in, make sure your batteries are in, you go home. Awesome. So, uh, Derek, what uh, what product are we taking with us today for this trial? Guys, also, oops, flip this thing around. Really excited. This is such an awesome opportunity with Crest. They're allowing me through my YouTube channel to show you guys, you landscapers with your businesses, um, just how great this is. And in Western New York, we're in the Northeast, we get the craziest springs with the grass growing super lush, super quickly, super thick. And then summertime, it, it all depends on what the lake gives us. Um, sometimes it's the, the grass just keeps growing like it's spring. Sometimes it dies out a bit. And then fall, very similar situation. But we, uh, we're, we're in a lot of neighborhoods with a lot of leaves as well, so we have the blowers and all that that we're going to be getting. So, guys, super excited about this opportunity. Cress is really blessing us with uh, an opportunity, opportunity to show you guys just how great their commercial product line is. And for anybody out there that's not positive on if, oh, it's battery, oh, but I'm, I'm loyal to gas, guys, come in with this with an open mind. This is, this is an awesome opportunity to get away from mixed fuel, to get away from the noise. I know that every state is different with their regulations, but guys, I believe that this is probably going to be the future for a lot of us. So the more we know, the better, and the better we can make decisions. So anyway, Derek, sorry about that. <laughs> oh, you're good. What, uh, what product are we taking with us today to showcase this year? So what we're going to do is hook you up with a 7.2 kilowatt cyber tank. Yep. We're going to start with that. That's your fuel station. That's your, mind you, six years. Yep. So when you think long term, we can show an ROI investment on how our tools cater to what you're already using and how much we can save you in a very short time period. Yeah. So that's the biggest thing. You're investing in your batteries and your charger. Right. Tools are pretty much the same as what you're already used to. Yep. Um, but obviously it's just a different fuel source. Sure. So cyber tank, and then we're gonna do we're gonna run um, a 
few four amp hour batteries. Yep. And then uh, two backpack batteries because you are going to be able to try our nice, lovely 900 CFM backpack blower yep. that runs 65 decibels. Awesome. So quiet, get in, get your work done. If you're losing some power in the trailer. <laughs> <laughs> but the cool part is um, with that, for cyber tank batteries, you know, we're not loading up with 30, 30 different batteries and, you know, have to find a way to convert um, an inverter and, and have all this chaos to just run batteries. We're giving that all right to you right now. Yep. So um, the other cool part is we're going to give you um, um, our string trimmer, edger. Yep. We got hedge trimmers. Awesome. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Good stuff. All this LCD screens. I mean, this this equipment is yep. serious. It's it's um it's, it's very user friendly. And I hear you can track it from your phone. Is that correct? That's the other cool part. We got a commercial app. So our commercial app allows us to basically you have a foreman in on your phone basically. So yep. What we're gonna do is with your equipment. All of our equipment has QR codes. Yep. You sign up in the app. You make your own. Your, your own uh, uh, company, and then you check in all the equipment using that QR code. Okay. It's gonna load in the batteries, the tools, everything. So then from there, then say your crew that goes out that day, they're gonna check out that equipment. Mm -hmm. You're gonna be able to see that location of that equipment uh, while, it's, while it's being used, okay. um, how it's being used, you're gonna be able to track your performance. Um, in that app also tracks uh, your firmware there is a lot of tech in this so we can run updates if um, say some performance uh, could be better um, and um, I mean it's just big oversight sure so and it's all off the phone that's what what we're used to that's what awesome. we can see so so I can uh, without being a stalker I can uh, I can go on my phone and see where all the equipment is so I can pretty sure much can. see where my where my lawn care crews are yep. at any time yep awesome yep. just gives you that, that great oversight so sweet I go uh, See and what it's all about. I'm looking at this guy over here too. Oh yeah. Uh, are we taking one of these? You know it. You oh. Know it. So this is our, our uh, 21 inch self propelled commercial uh, push mower. Very so nice. So this once again runs our 11 amp hour battery. Yep. That will go in the backpack blower, the harness, everything. So slide that puppy in. Um, this does mulch or bag. Uh, very easy to get to. Got your mulch plug back here. Yep. Slice Just like in. the Toros that we have. Yep. So, um, oh, easy. Super easy. The other nice part is, like I said, our commercial stuff runs an LCD screen. So, battery level. And then we also get two different power outputs, blade speeds. Wow. So, and then your self propelled functions without that having to even be on. Wow. I'll turn it on. So, I'm assuming pretty quiet. It's super quiet. <laughs> Literally just sounds like a fan. Yep. But, wow. But the cut quality is where it's at. The other functionality is most commercial mowers have an adjustment on each wheel, which yep. can be a pain. You do just two adjustments on one side. So you got your front adjustment, pick whatever you need, spring yep. loaded. Yep. And then same for the back. Oh, that's it. And then the other cool part is we got our spring locks for a handle. So slide that up and out of your way. Oh, very nice. And then Trailer you have storage. Three different adjustments as well. Let's go. So, wow. That's uh Derek. Pretty nice mower. This is awesome. <laughs> yeah. So we're uh we're looking forward to seeing what you guys think and appreciate your time for hey, sure. So, we appreciate you as well, my man. All right. Holy crap. <laughs> we got so much stuff loaded up in the trailer guys I'm so excited to show you what we've got um one other thing I wanted to say um while we we're here oh actually let's see can you see it oh yeah there she is cyber tank all loaded up super exciting um one last thing I wanted to say so obviously we rock um, enclosed trailers for our lawn care landscaping businesses, primarily our lawn care crews, just because I like keeping stuff out of the weather. But the beautiful stuff about all this Crest product is it can get rained on, he said it can get snowed on, um, and it's totally fine. It's all commercial grade product, so you don't have to worry about anything getting ruined. It's uh, super, super tough. He kept saying tough as nails. So guys, I'm so excited. We're gonna get back to the shop. I'm gonna give you a rundown. I'm just gonna lay everything out for you and show you with a little more detail of exactly 
what we have. Um, but guys, holy cow, this is going to be quite the season. Can't wait to showcase this product for you. And uh, I will see you back at the shop. All right, guys, as you can see, we are back at the shop. Huge shout out to Cress. Huge shout out to HR Dills over in Hamburg, my lawnmower dealership, and uh, for, for making that introduction with for myself and Cress. And we are, like I said, back at the shop. Got us a little bit of swag right here. Thank you so much, Derek. And uh, I just wanted to show you guys, um, I took it out of the trailer, not the cyber tank. That thing is like 300 pounds. But like I said, you can put it in your enclosed trailer. You can put it in a open utility trailer. It can get rained on, it can get snowed on, and it's not gonna bother it one bit. Um, so I just wanted to show you guys this, uh, not taking that cyber tank out, but guys, take a look. So, and believe it or not, this isn't even everything. They gave us this today, but we have a extendable pole hedge trimmer coming in the next week, because we, uh, we're gonna be using that quite a bit. We have a whole nother hedge trimmer coming, but guys, take a look at this. So we have two of the 11 amp, you can see one is in the lawnmower right now, two 11 amp batteries. Um, we have four of these four amp batteries down here. So the smaller ones, we have two in the weed whackers right now. Um, but you put that 11 amp, you put it in the blower, you can put it in this battery pack right here. And I'm really excited to try out that battery pack because you can hook up, if you're weed whacking for hours, let's say that you're in a field or you need to do a retention area, um, you can plug one of those weed whackers right into that and use one of these 11 amp batteries. You can go for hours, they said. So that's going to be super cool. Um, but yeah, just quickly going through this, we have the blower that's going to come in handy on this mowing crew. And then in the fall, I'm excited to see how that does and how often you have to change out the batteries for that. Um, we got two weed whackers right here. We have a stick edger. We do a lot of that um, over the summer as well, bi-weekly for all of our clients. We have the push mower. Derek showed you a little bit about the push mower. I'm so excited for this because one of our contracts, we take care of 20 patio homes right in a row. And in that contract, it states that we have to use a push mower in the front yards. So that is going to be a awesome test place to utilize this mower. And it'll get weeks and weeks, 28 actually, 28 weeks of use um, this, this summer. So can't wait to showcase that and see how it does. We have a handheld blower, which we utilize often after we finish blowing everything off and you're like, oh no, I forgot to blow off that sidewalk. Just pick that up and run right over there. Oh guys, we have another four amp battery um, right in the, uh, in the blower that I totally didn't see. So we actually have five of them. Um, we have the hedge trimmer right here. We have a six, we have a, we have a chainsaw and I believe it has an Oregon bar on it um, and it's a 16 inch bar. We, uh, for some of these spring cleanups that we're doing right now, we have been cutting up trees and, you know, hauling away huge branches that have fallen down. So very excited to put that thing through its paces. Uh, but yeah, guys, so excited to showcase this guy, this product line this season. There is going to be so many awesome videos coming out about this. And let me flip this around. Guys, I want you to know this as well. My review of all of this Crest product, yes, I'm wearing the hat, I got it all over here, I had a great experience with the team over at Crest, at my dealer. I am not being paid to do this. What I am, I, yes, I get to play with their toys all year round, um, but in no way is that going to influence if I like the product or not. I will give you guys my honest review of this stuff, um, and they told me, they're like, Pick it apart, tear it apart. If you don't like certain aspects of this, we're constantly trying to better our company, so please let us know. So guys, this is gonna be an honest review because battery stuff, if you haven't checked it out already, it's so expensive. It's very expensive and I'll just be honest about that. Like the batteries alone, I, I believe for one of the four amp batteries, it's like $500. Now granted, it's a six year warranty on that, so that's amazing, um, but Still, the barrier to entry, it's high. It's expensive stuff like that. Um, the Cyper tank that is in my trailer that you probably can't see because it's so dark in there right now. Yep, we took it in the back. It's, uh, that is $13,500 before tax. It's a 7.2. They, they offer it in two different varieties. There's a five, there's a five point something and then there's a seven point something. So this is the larger option. 
is what I'm trying to say. Um, it is the one that can charge the most batteries in a day. It has the longest charge time. It's, it's going to be, I'm sure it's going to be awesome. But again, guys, really expensive, really expensive stuff. So I wouldn't tell you to go out and buy it and invest it into your lawn care business if I didn't truly believe in it. So what we are doing here this year, it is just an opportunity for you guys to see through me and my business if it is worth investing in. And of course, if I like it, I very well might buy it at the end of the year. If I don't, I'll just give it back. But guys, what an amazing opportunity to learn more about this battery product, to learn more about Cress, and then kind of easing our way into the commercial battery um, environment. So guys, thank you so much for tuning into today's videos. Please keep tuning in and subscribe, hit the like button, leave me a comment on what you think. What is your, what's your take on battery? Because before I picked up all of this stuff and I got a lesson on how everything works, I have gas for everything. We are weed whackers, edgers, blowers, everything. It's all gas. So this is all very, very new to me. So leave me a comment. Let me know. What do you guys think about battery stuff? Are you interested in it? Do you need to know more about it? And uh, if you do need to know more about it, please do subscribe because we're going to be putting out a ton of content on this Crest product as well as our daily mowing and all of the other joyful stuff that we do in a daily basis. But guys, thank you so much for your support. Cannot wait to give you guys the next video. A lot of great content to come. Stay well. I will see you the next time. Bye-bye.